Have you ever noticed this tension, this contrast, these things going on that are seemingly at odds with one another? What I'm talking about that's affecting all of our lives is this, this wonderful breakthroughs in science and technology and medicine, yet, yet tremendous rise in mental health challenges and accompanying physical health. We're talking about burnout, uh, anxiety, depression, and more. And in Gallup Poll 2021, uh, the numbers showed that uh, there was a 5,000% increase in searches on mental health with anxiety and depression topping the list. So what do we do with these insoluble problems? Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of external things happening here and, and, and the pandemic doesn't help, but there's climate crisis and growing divides socially and culturally and racially and much more. Uh, these wicked problems, there, there must be some way, and there is, because the truth is within. And, and that's why my wife and partner, Jane Mountrose, and I wrote the book, The Loving Power of the Soul, a guidebook for realizing your true potential. Uh, because the truth is found within that deeper identity. And as you learn to connect with your spiritual intelligence, that vastness, that inner wisdom, you have uh, access to guidance, to direction, to healing. And the world looks very different. You're able to connect and be in the world much differently when you have that guidance and direction and that co-creation inside. So the book is divided into three parts, preparation, activation, and integration. So we, the first part, preparing yourself, shows you how you can connect and harness the soul with your intelligences, the human intelligence, your physical intelligence, your emotional intelligence, your mental intelligence. All those intelligence uh, can be used uh, by your soul for your life for your purpose, uh, for your own good and the good of others. Plus, mindfulness relates to soulfulness and in meditation. What are the connections? What are the pros and the cons? What works and what doesn't work? And we explore all that in preparing you. And part two of the book, Activation, Activating That Soul Connection. We have six ways uh, to connect with the soul. Two uh, of them we feature more prominently that we've developed over the years, and we know they work with having done them on ourselves <laughs> regularly and, and sharing and teaching for many other people and students and clients and such. Uh, and there are six ways altogether to connect reliably with your soul. A lot of people you see think that this is something you can only get in rare moments is soulful awareness. And it's true when you have a beautiful setting like maybe the ocean setting or a sunset or sunrise or tremendous crisis. Uh, you, you hear the voice of your soul, you get that clear insight and awareness. However, you can connect at any moment. Just talking about it, thinking about it right now can be a soulful moment. And that's the idea to live more from that place. And in the loving power of the soul book, we show you how to do it. Explore some knowledge, tips, tools, exercises. There's a lot of real life examples in it as well and again these processes and how to directly and easily connect with your soul. And the third part of the book after preparation and activation um, is integration. How do you integrate the soul into your life? And that means healing the shadows, the blocks, the fears, the doubts, the things that are in the way uh, that prevent you from truly being here. In fact, those blocks can be resources. You can shift them into allies and have them work with you once you discover what they are and are able to nurture them connect them with the soul and heal and use them as a resource in different ways. So we show you how to do that, mainly through a, a holistic EFT, a holistic approach to the emotional freedom technique, the tapping technique that we've developed a more holistic approach to that uh, process that works very well, plus another one, spiritual kinesiology and energy healing process. We do healing from the soul that we've developed. Uh, so we explore those ways to uh, integrate and clear the blocks. So the preparing, activating, and integrating. I think if you uh, read the book, you'll find it easy to read, a very valuable resource to help you live more fully, to help yourself and others, and make this a better world.